Hey guys, uh, this is a quick tutorial on forking and submitting a pull request. Uh, I do this all the time at work, maybe you do this all the time, if so, this is going to be boring to you. If not, watch. So you click fork on the repo you're going to submit the pull request on. I'm going to uh, do a small change to Zerbs readme, add my dip tool, click fork, and you point it down to your origin. If you notice up here in the URL field, it changed to Rob Levin Tennis Foundation. So now I have my own remote version of this, and that's going to become origin. What I'm going to do, actually I had this locally, I'm just going to go ahead and remove it, <clears throat> and we're going to get clone, and you notice it's Rob Levin Tennis Foundation. So it's not the original one, it's mine. So when that pull when that gets pulled in, it's going to point origin to my fork, uh, my fork remote, not Zerb Foundations. So once that gets pulled in, what I'm going to want to do is create a topic branch, make my changes, commit them, and then push them up to my fork, and then submit the pull request that way. And we'll see how easy that is in just a second. This can be a bit daunting if you haven't done it before, so. Uh, while it's simple for the old hands out there, it's a little challenging for the noobs. So let's take a look while this is pulling in what I'm going to actually do. I'm just going to go in here and add a link on their community section of the README. Uh, we're by editors, I think, over here. I'm going to add a rapid prototyping section and add a link to Ditby. And you can see that. Where was it up here? They they said you know if if you want to get on this readme, send an email. So I sent an email and they said sure, just do a pull request. Okay, so get checkout branch. Okay, so let's CD into this. I'm getting ahead of myself, and we're on master. So we're gonna need to get checkout a new branch with with dash b, and it be to readme is what I'm gonna call this. And we're going to open up the README. I usually use Sublime Text, but for this kind of a change, I can use good old VI. And let's find the editor section. So I think I want this to go down here. And I'm just going to put in rapid prototyping. And, oops, and we're going to paste this in and change this to be this is going to be the label that gets seen on the link. This is um, Markdown. You can look up what that um, uh, what that is. But so I'm, what I need to do now is go back over to Rob Love and Tennis, and uh, that's what I'm going to want to link. I'm going to put that over here between these parentheses and. Say by Rob Levin. But I also want to do um, a demo. So I have that uh, video demo of this, and that's going to be, actually, I have it on my site. If I go to Dippy, a link to that video over here, and we'll just we'll just paste that in here. Oops, got ahead of myself, sorry. There we go. Um, that should work. Uh, maybe I'll say four minute video. Four minute, four minute demo video. Okay, so people aren't too uh, intimidated to to do that. Okay, so that looks good. I'm going to get rid of that extra space. And I'm going to save that. And so now if I do a git status, um, it's just that one file that's changed and looks like it's just that one line. So that looks good. So I'm going to go ahead and add those. I have some shortcuts. It's basically doing a git add all and git commit. Um, and we're going to say added dit b tool to read me. We're going to push to origin. Before I do that, let me cat this, uh, this uh, git config so you can see what's going on. So you can see here 
that this is pointing to to my rep my repo my fork rather. Um, so I'm gonna push origin um, this guy. Don't probably have to do it this way, but this is the local and remote branches. So now if we go um, if we go back over to foundation, we should see the same branch was created on my fork. Okay, and if I click this compare and review, that's going to show my one change, and I'm going to click to create a pull request. So, if you can see here, I started a topic branch, did B to read me, and it's going to ask basically, hey guys, pull this into your master. And actually, you now before I do that, I can actually ensure that this is this is working correctly. So let's let's see. We're on the master branch. Let's switch back over to here, and that should actually update the readme. So let's just make sure that that worked. Okay, here it is. If I click that, is it a proper link? Yes. Oh wait, no 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 that that was wrong. Great. That means we can fix it. Yeah. Let's go back to this branch. Didn't mean to read me. And if we look, sorry for the scrolling. You gotta find the same. Right. So it's not a link to Dippy. It's a link to Foundation. So this this should be correct. Okay. So let's go ahead and fix that. So. We're going to go VI back into here. And, yep, it's not to Dippy, it's to Foundation. That would have been pretty embarrassing. Um, it's embarrassing on this video, but not nearly as bad as submitting it in the pull request. So let's see. So now if we get diff that, we should have that fixed. Let's add that typo. And now if we log that, we can see uh, that um, that I've added this sort of meaningless this meaningless um, commit. So what I'm going to do here is take the commit SHA-2 back and say git rebase interactively. And I want to squash that out because it's not something they need to have to have in their repo. And I'm going to delete that. We're basically going to start over. And we can do this because nobody's yet seen this. If some other people are basing their work off of um, uh, if other people base their work off of your stuff, that's a little dangerous. But we're sorry, I'm going to go back and say force. And um, we're just going to force that up. And it doesn't matter because we haven't submitted it. Nobody's actually really seen it yet. So now if I go back here and I refresh, I'm still on this dip B to read me. Um, if I go down, let me try to search for editor. And I put it down here. Now it points to dip B. Nice. Okay. So that looks good and we know the video is good. So now we can uh, do a review. That, that's why it's so important to, to look at these diffs before you submit them. Um, I didn't notice in my local branch when I did this, but um, these diffs on GitHub are useful, so make sure you use them. This looks good to me, and I'm going to go ahead and click this to send the pull request in, and we'll see. I'll probably fire an email off. Yeah, I know how to use a, I know how to do a pull request, and here it is. So that's about it for this one.